we might be back. He back. I back. Uh, yeah, the uh, uh, the bots server is down for maintenance. All right, next time the internet drops like that, I'm going to run one on Spectrum stuff and see if it's an issue with them. That's COP4. I haven't offered to pay because I don't have any money either. I think Lauren said I'm still offline. Refresh. Uh... <laughs> Oh, of course, ads start again. Stop it. You're under you arrest. Don't arrest me. I haven't done anything. I put this man in his place. <laughs> Sylvie incident known? Did someone order a vague, farcical reading of the law? More than one pops into your head. Refusal to aid an officer of the peace. You are impeding me from carrying out a murder investigation with your inane request for money. I wonder what Sylvie has to say about that. I kind of want to get involved with number two. I I did what y'all requested. I did number three. Now I kind of want to do number two. Number two sounds like the right way to go. I said I'm doing it. Are you trying to frighten me now? What is this? Is this me threatening you with excruciating legal procedures because you're impeding my investigation? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing that one. I don't. I don't care for that. Fine. Fuck this. I'll do it myself. I'll call your station. What was it, 41? I'll ask them to pay for the room. The drinks and the window you still have to pay for. That's 70. Are we done, officers? Hmm. Cool. Leave. Goodbye and thank you for the cooperation. Uh, I have no member memory of drinking them. I'm not paying for the drinks. I won't pay for the window. Fine, I'll take it off the bill. You want to sleep in a post-apocalyptic shithole? Go ahead, but I'm not giving you another room. Goodbye. Thank you for your co cooperation. I'm alright with that. Don't thank me. You still owe me 30 for the drinks. If you don't have it by tonight, I'm not letting you back up there. Alright. No, sir. Good day. I'll pay, I'll pay for the drinks at least. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. Oh, that's too fast. There we go. That's slightly better. We should be back. We're back. We're we back, y'all. Uh, do I have an address? But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. Up on Marvel Hill? Sure. Why did you say that? These are just synapses firing. It doesn't mean anything. The, the name must have some meaning for me. Lieutenant Kitsuragi, do you know a place called Marvel oh. Hill? But isn't that an expression, not a place? An expression? Seeing, up on Marvel Hill, a great high place. One that is impossible to climb back to. Ah, uh, it seems about right. Hey, System Chalk, how are you doing, buddy? As an alcoholic racist, this game speaks to you? Hold on a second. Wait, hold. Dial that back a little bit. <laughs> that doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. As long as you're not a racist. Yeah, it's great to see you too. I, I mean, you know, if you're alcoholic, I'm happy to try, try to help you work through that. But, you know, racism is a fundamental thing that uh, tends not to be resolved by talking. But, you know, 
There's no place for that here. I'll just I'll just put it that way. But it's good to see you, buddy. How have you been? Yeah, don't be that. I'll, I'll live in a dumpster. I don't care. Oh, but God. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a street or an apartment. Don't be that. Alcohol is bad for your liver. It is. Uh, ignore me tomorrow making like four different batches of mead. No sop it. Soft perv and electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone is working. Wait, isn't this where I need to go? Do I need to talk to him? Yes. Uh, no. How many bottles does that make? Uh huh. You. Okay. Lauren brought me garlic bread. Perfect time for an ad break. Okay. We made what? Six? Eight bottles? With the last gallon of me that we did of those? Eight? How big do you think those are? 24? How much is a bottle? By one of everything you see on the ads to support the streamer? That's not how that works. Watch the ads. That supports me. Um, in real units, you guys not? Oh, I guess you do milliliters, huh? Um, that's probably what half the size of a wine bottle. Seven fifty divided by two would be 375 half of a 750 millimeter uh, milliliter yeah millimeter bottle milliliter wine bottle would be about 375 right i think they're probably about 375 milliliters we do milliliters but everything is sized in ounces uh I, I, we think it's like 24 ounces which I'm assuming is somewhere around 375 milliliters because it's about half. It fills mm, two cups, two serving. Well, I don't even know if that's an accurate representation. You're on your second Uber Eats and third forward focus. How does that work? Wait, you don't have a 750 milliliter wine bottles? Hello, sweetie. Wait, who's sweetie? Does that mean you like You're me? A handsome man officer with your mustache and your chiseled jaw and that silly dimple on your chin. Oh, here's here's the ad break. Yeah, I want to say it's like Cans, bottles of pop are like 354 or three or 471. All right. Well, now I got to Google it. Uh, how many milliliters is 24? That's not right. Uh, flip top bottle. Uh, 16 ounces. They are 16 ounces, eight 16 ounce bottles. I mean, I guess that makes sense. <clears throat> Out of Agile, ironically, you were responding to your crack about purchasing habits when they started. Yeah, so second Uber Eats, but third Ford Focus. How does that work? What does that mean? But yeah, 
So this bottle, 16 ounces. Which in Canadian terms, 16 ounce to milliliters, 473. 473.1. Oh, you're talking about ads. I thought you have just been ordering Uber Eats a lot. But dear, you're not for me. I'm too old and too married besides. In another time and place, she might have flirted back. But that ship sailed long ago. Aww. You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I completely forgot to introduce myself. Lena seems awesome. I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. Her eyes glitter over the rims of her glasses as she looks this up, smiling. Lena is wacky enough for the motley crew. Hire her on the <laughs> spot. How would you like to roll with me? Hell yeah! Whatever do you mean? I want you to be my wheelchair partner in fighting crime, running backyards, or ridding backyards of corpses, catching sequence killers. Sequence killers? Oh my. But I think you already have a partner, sweetie. A partner who needs you to help him get a corpse done from a tree. <laughs> Kim, of course, I forgot I had you. I know, I know, but there are also side mysteries, sequence killers and forays into the paranatural. I can assure you with absolute certainty, there are no sequence killings taking place in Martinez. Now, gentlemen, no need to squabble. I wouldn't be of much use to you anyway, sweetie. Why? Three heads are better than two. Come on, Thank Lena. Thank you, but... Martinez isn't the most wheelchair-accessible place, you see. I'd slow you down. Sweetie, I'd throw you over my shoulder and Perhaps carry you. Perhaps another time. Yes, officer. You look rather dazed. Like a stunned fox. But surely things can't be that bad. In your playthrough, you were introduced to her while you were running across the lobby and flipping the manager the bird with both hands. You can do that? She won't judge you, no matter what you say. I drink so hard I forget liter I forgot literally everything. Oh my. You know where we are, right? Mmm. We're dead, haunting each other. We're ghosts. That's right. And where is the Whirling in Rags cafeteria itself located? Uh, I have no we're idea. We're in the city of Revishol, dear. I don't know diddly squat about Revishol. What place How is this? How I even begin to tell you? Revishol is the most beautiful city in the world. We're fortunate to be here, you and I. Oh, okay. I haven't seen very many other cities personally, but everyone says so. Revishol is a rare jewel. This city used to rule the world, though the it has seen better days. There's a pause as she studies your expression. You must look quite lost. Speaking of history, you know what year it is, yes? Maybe she'll join you if you use the expression. If I get that option, I am doing it. Oh, I've laughed already so many times, System Talk. I'm I'm so excited to see what this game contains. It's a bad year in my late 40s or 50s? I don't know how old I am. There, there. The year is 51. And oh, Lena's such a sweetheart. Started. I'm sure there are better days ahead. The lieutenant studies you, rubbing his chin. You haven't played that much of it. So you haven't beaten it. Are you still actively playing it? I'm beginning to suspect that you might indeed be completely adrift in this reality, thinks the lieutenant. How can it be that bad? Never mind. We're in this now. I can tell that this is taxing for you, so I'll just ask one more question. What regime are we living under? What mode of government? Some kind of uh, democracy, maybe? Democracy! 
You'd like to think it's the dictatorship of the proletariat, some, but something tells me it's not. Our leaders are fierce warriors who traverse the plains on steeds civilization and scour before us. Uh, we are governed by intelligent machines that perform calculations to determine the freest market. Everyone hustles and grinds like a visionary. Radios are being used to control people's minds and distort our perception of reality, concealing our true masters, foreigners, and women. Cop. We're living under the cop regime. Some kind of democracy, maybe? Super Earth! I have to go with that. You keep starting over so you can have some recollection of events. Pretty sure within the next 20 to 30 minutes you'll have gotten to where you have. Nope. We'll see. I like to ask a lot of questions. Revishal is what's called a zone of control under an alliance of foreign powers called the Coalition. We have no government of our own, and what democracy we have is market-driven. Okay, so we're under a capitalist society. If there's no government, how come there are cops? I don't even know what to say. I'm so disappointed. It is quite disappointing. <laughs> Yes, a lot of people uh, would like some form of representation. There's talk, but for now, the RCM is all we've got. Oh dear, this is troubling. You really ought to know that, being one yourself. There aren't any cops in Revishol, not in the traditional sense. The status of law enforcement has been a complicated matter since the revolution. We're so bad about market driven. What's so bad about market driven society? Sounds like utopia. RCM E? Wait, shouldn't it be RMCP? No, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, not Royal Mounted Canadian Police. What's so bad about a market driven society? Sounds like utopia. Well, I mean, you know, if corporations didn't rule everything and make it worse for uh, everyone who's buying stuff uh, and their employees, then yeah, it would probably be fine. Uh, but when everyone is driven by money and greed is the source of all evil, then, you know, you're kind of... kind of in for a bad time. Good point. I think we should just have one super corporation that runs everything. That sounds even worse. I'm projecting. I'm always projecting. I have what is called a theater voice. But we should stop for today, sweetie. You look like you need a break. Besides, I'm not the best person to explain the big things to anyone. She's scared now. She's realized you really are brain damaged. <laughs> How did I do? You didn't do too well, dear. It does look like you're having trouble remembering things. History and places. Remembering reality, in a word. It's very odd. A sigh. The lieutenant buries his nose in his notebook. But maybe a fresh set of eyes is what the world needs. And while I'm no doctor, such bouts of amnesia are often temporary. So I, I wouldn't worry too much. She means this sincerely. Worrying won't do you any good. Okay. A defeat, I'm afraid. The people of this archipelago tried to build something new, something different. The rest of the world didn't like it, so they came and ended it. This was 42 years ago. So that was the revolution. Hey, Dane. Uh, I'm definitely not a gamer. Nope, not here. You have not come to find a gamer. You have come to find someone who has had uh, too much mead and not enough garlic bread. Yep, definitely in the wrong place. Nope, I am, I'm not a gamer. I'm just, I'm an entertainer, you see. I am here to experience this world with the rest of you and make witty quips. Not enough garlic bread? That, that is a problem. I agree. That is a big problem. You're here for the market-driven democracy? Someone's played not enough Helldivers. That's me. I'm that someone. I need to play more Helldivers. Uh, what does that have to do with there not being any cops? It has something to do with everything. I really don't know how to explain it better. What sort of mead was I enjoying? Uh, the homebrewed kind. Yes, I do, but with functioning net. I second that. Uh, like 10 months ago when Lauren and I first moved to Illinois, we ordered a homebrew kit. 
and today I received a new kit with three large containers uh, that I am hopefully going to start a fermentation process tomorrow to have in the next few months. Uh, I intend to do a strawberry mead, a strawberry lemon mead, hopefully something that tastes like a strawberry lemonade, sounds good. Maybe a strawberry or a lemon lavender mead or a raspberry mead. I think definitely some lemon. I kind of want to try a citrusy flavored mead. That sounds good to me. You're visiting me next weekend? It's decided? I mean, it won't be done for a couple of months. And I'm, I'm going to start brewing everything tomorrow. I mean, you're welcome to visit me anyway. I'll feed you. I'll house you. We'll hang out, brew faster, I'll work on it. Look, the whole idea is to have all this stuff uh, done and ready for uh, the summer. I might have to buy some more carboys. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I mean, you know, you're welcome to, Dimwit. Hey, Salad. How's it going, handsome? I'm just the poor woman, she thinks. What do I know of these things? An hour what Lauren hour. doing? Uh, yelling at Plum right now. Someone more educated in sweeping matters. Maybe you should. Paint ask. by numbers, she said. Also, take my buddy. <laughs> Thank you for the resub, there, buddy. Oh. Oh, streamer bot. Shut down. That's weird. Come on, reconnect. There we go. Um, can I make that play again? Nope, because the program wasn't open. All right. Well, thank you, Salad, for the reset. Welcome back for your 29th adventure. Uh, when are we playing more Helldivers, buddy? No, I'm not an encyclopedia. I won't be a guide either. I'm a detective. Of course. Then I don't know. Someone rich, maybe? Wealthy people are educated. Though I don't know where you would find a wealthy person. Tonight? In tomorrow night? I mean, both of those are plausible. Helldivers 2, too good. It's, it's such a fun game. I feel like it would not be as entertaining for me to play on stream, but I just love playing it. You need to play that at some point? You bought it and haven't gotten around to democracy? Dane! We have to get into democracy. Look, we have Salad, we have Hero, we have me, we have Dane. Even if I don't join, you can totally... Jackie's going to play it. Dimwit's going to play it. Ingle's going to play it. Like, we have so many people who you can spread democracy with. It's totally worth it. Yes, dear. I, I'm a paraplegic. What is paraplegic? I can't use my legs. I was in an accident some years back, injured in the line of duty, as they say. Were you a rugby oh, player? No, far from it. Although, I did come out to watch the boys play when I was in school. Oh, oh Lena. Halves. So annoyed that it came out when you were away on work. I mean, it's still such a good game. You can keep playing it now. I'm on, I'm level 29. Literally, I have I have not been able to play it nearly as much as, like, all of my friends. So, there is no time too late to start. You can, but your friends... Not counting this week? You're level one. Perfect, hero. We'll throw you immediately into a level seven mission, and you'll be fine. You can, but your friends, not counting this week, have unlocked everything. I mean, it doesn't matter what they've unlocked. It only matters what you've unlocked. Fortunately, there's no story to really set you back in comparison. Like, it doesn't matter if they have, you know, all these great uh, stratagems or whatever. You can still shoot bugs. But they're all a little burnt out. Ah, they're burnt out. I see. So you've got the friends who do nothing but play one game until they're like, I hate this game. Well, play with me, Dimwit. I'll play with you. Let's play the game together. I love the game. I want to play the game more. Rise Glimmer mischievously. 
What did you do to that? I was a training and development manager at a rapidly expanding mail order shoe company. How did you become a paraplegic from a shoe company? You'd think it would be a safe job, but I had to be everywhere. And, well, once I happened to be under some faulty scaffolding. Uh, makes sense. So you got a uh, cushy payout, right? I was lucky. This was almost 20 years ago, and I was compensated exceptionally well. One can only dream of such payoffs nowadays. Uh, can I become a paraplegic? I <laughs> Although the work you are doing for all of us is quite dangerous. I think part of the reason why Helldivers is doing so well is because the de the developers, the 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 producers, they're still so involved with the game that they don't even have to release their DLC war bonds, you know, their battle passes or whatever that you can buy in game really easily, honestly, uh, much easier than any other game that has ever had anything like it. But they continue to modify how the game reacts and they add new enemies and they change things and like it really is like an RPG. It's incredible. Like I I love what they're doing with it and I'm very happy with it. Towering over her in your insignia, you make her feel safe. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad hanging out in a chair playing pinball. But not you. You're volunteering. So thank you, sweetie. The war bond monetization scheme does worry you, though. They've not ruined it yet, but it's a very slippery slope they're riding on. I agree. Um, but the fact that, let's see, how many hours of Helldivers have I played? I have played 37 hours of Helldivers, and I was able to buy one of the War Bonds with just in-game currency while I'm still unlocking the first War Bond. I haven't completed the first one. So, like, I feel like so far, so far, they're doing it right. They allow players to buy more Super Credits to unlock those War Bonds ahead of time to get stuff early if they want, or... The people who just want to keep playing and playing and playing and playing can unlock all of them without having to spend any more on the game itself. The first one gives you three times more than the others. The first war bond or the first paid war bond. So you volunteered sometime in the past for the beatdown of Hell of Bullets. So very you. The first war bond. That's true. The first war bond, I think, gives you, what is it, nine pages instead of, like, three? Yeah, your no-life friends have spent enough money to not need anything. If anything, I like that they made the first one fatter than, like Ingle said, fatter than the other ones. Because you don't feel like you're missing out on as much. And then, if you want to pick up the other stuff... It's as simple as either just playing the game a little bit more if you have time. Or slowly picking it up over time or spending like. What is it? Twenty dollars and you can at least buy two. Two of the war bonds. Easy. So it is still a slippery slope. I, I will not deny that, uh, but they do seem to be doing it well. So so far, that's quite all right. I'm used to people asking questions. I know they're thinking about it anyway. There is no bitterness in her voice. She accepted the curiosity her condition inspires a long time ago. <laughs> sweetie needs money. Do sweeties get money? Oh, sweetie, I heard your conversation with the manager about your financial troubles. When do you get your next paycheck? That's a good question. This woman would feed and clothe you and every other sad, lost person on this earth. You've got guns of steel and a chiseled jaw somewhere under the bloated alcohol layer maybe she'd like to sponsor you suggestion tug on her heartstrings no i don't want to i don't i don't want to make lena give me money you must be joking 
Although our pay does sometimes feel like a joke. <laughs> what is a paycheck? It's not easy to assert your right to a decent living wage when you don't have a strong union behind you. Maybe you should talk to Everard, the union leader. Interesting idea. This Everard sounds powerful. Maybe you can wrangle some coins out of his pocket. All right, all right, we'll do that. I was hoping you could be my sponsor. No, we'll leave Lena alone. She's wonderful. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I don't have money for you. If, if there's anything else I can do for you, just ask. Continue being a sweetheart, of you lovely dear. lady. Good luck with your case. All right, well, I guess we'll go outside. Oh, wait, there was a thing in there. What's this? A bottle of rum has been knocked over. Beautiful dark liquid spilling out. Sleeping dock worker. Man is sleeping at a table wearing mud caked boots and rolled down overalls. The back of his shirt reads wild pines encircled by a logo with a tree. Yes, love. Sorry, hold on guys, I'm I'm answering some questions. Do a valley girl accent like this? I don't know if this is a valley girl accent. Uh, Julia does a much better valley girl accent, but I'll gladly try. Uh, I feel like they just, they constantly have like a little bit of an up sound at the end of everything they say. What's a valley girl? Uh, it's a, a 
a bimbo from California. I knew a valley girl. You knew a valley girl and she wasn't a bimbo? I don't know. They all sound like bimbos. That's probably really rude of me. But, you know, it's the, the movie stereotype. Ingle, what do you mean you hate the choices that you make? You know, if you make me do this long enough, I, I can't really stop. You did do this to yourself. Uh, a valley girl tends to be someone uh, from California in the valley. And they often um, talk like this. Uh, a little indecisive. You were going to do wizard hat, but that one's... The, the hat ones aren't there. You're right, they're not. But if it makes you feel any better, I'll I'll like I'll do that. I'll I'll give you a little pink hat. Is that is that good? On the counter, rolled out of his open hand, you see a blister pack of headache medicine. Never heard of this trope, you guess? Uh, just Google it. Just just Google like uh, what is a valley girl and they'll they'll give you a, a pretty good representation. I'm sure. No idea. Looks like he works for Wild Pines, the logistics company who owns and operates the harbor. Why is he sleep? Why is he sleeping during the day? Possibly because there's Hi, a strike sweetie. going on in the harbor. There's not much to do aside from drinking and sleeping. I'll just pick up the, the pill. Does not mind. You probably need them more than he does hey i gained magnesium just up some magnesium this item is stored in the bottom left corner of the screen above your character portrait use magnesium to heal your morale if you have morale damage hey i have morale plus one plus one t ruckus talking to gart well let's wake him up you gently shake his shoulder but nothing happens this man could probably sleep soundly in a ship. Well, I guess I'll not that wake him up. That rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? Pretty long. It's drink o'clock. boy. It's coming back to him. You had your mesolimbic reward pathway worried there. Not thinking about drinking all that time. It was like you weren't yourself i've been secretly thinking about drinking all this time should i be thinking about this it looks like drinking hasn't turned out too well for me now that you mention it i do need a rum and lemonade i'd love for gart to serve me up a beverage forget about the bar or don't forget about it you should totally try to get a drink there too but first you should leave <laughs> that stain off the counter yeah, man. Let's get wild. Lick it. You want me to lick it off the counter? <laughs> lick it, lick it, but only a little. Let's like lick it just a little. Calmly, the lieutenant looks out of the window, then to you, licking the tasty rum stain off the counter, but only a little, then out of the window again. Oh my god. I need to be as wasted as the main character to play this game. Uh -huh. A rum stain? Rum? What do you mean there, disdain? Quote unquote rum? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm an alcoholic. I need to get my hit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I drifted off into my own thoughts and now this happened. Investigating. A real drink would go well with those cigarettes you're looking for. That's a great combination. Incredible. <clears throat> you plead the fifth. Uh, sir, what, what kind of stain are you thinking about, Dane? A heap of snow melts in the wheelbarrow? Well, what kind of accent do you want me to do instead, dimwit? The RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? Brrr, 
There you go. There, there's a drill accent. <laughs> the kind that makes God angry. There's a kind of stain that makes God angry. You sound surprised. See a lot of police around here. That's all. Well, I've got some questions. Of course. What can I help you with? Uh, we need directions. Where to? Like I'm looking for a dead body. Oh, that. That's right there, in the yard. Uh. Someone has come for it, finally. Which way is north? There's the pier, the Cape Side apartment buildings, some more tenements. Not a lot, really. What about the, the east? Gates. Ingo, get out of some my head. Of promotion, I think. I don't follow the local politics. A fleet store too. Is Frit supposed to have t three T's? Some shops and a bridge. The canal bridge leads to the coast, but it's broken, I think. Some kind of accident, probably. Just coast. There's a little fishing village there and a fish market, but that got closed down ages ago. Rows of stools under a broad roof where silvery fish were heaped on newspapers. Water, water everywhere. Pouring from the heavens in the shadow of the old church. What kind of fish market? I don't know. The abandoned kind? It used to gather every spring, but there's nothing to do there now. Just drug addicts. Ah, perfect. That's where I should go. It's just water. No, actually, I think they call it the Martinez Inlet. There are some islands in the bay, but they're hard to reach. All right, where are we? What do you mean? <gasps> I'm disoriented. I don't know where I am. Yes, sir. District of Martinez. This intersection is called Roundabout North. Okay. That's where we are. He just wants directions. <laughs> he seems uncomfortable with the levels of disorientation I'm displaying. I don't know anything. No problem. Uh, what's the have the police business? Excuse me. She's uncomfortable. Maybe you should drop this line of questioning. The street sign says F the police. Oh, well, I didn't write it there. I'm just sitting here. Sorry, I didn't mean okay. to startle you. Uh, hey, Mr. Meat Suit. How you doing, you handsome devil? It's good to see you. Uh, you have a slightly tipsy me and Disco Elysium. Me? I am just a gardener. What are you doing here? I'm working. Working on what? I have a greenhouse in the yard there. I've been trying to get some work done. And a very tipsy you? Yeah, what are you drinking, Dimwit? There's discomfort. She stops mid-sentence. Go on, it's alright. I already know. There's a corpse there, hanging from a tree. It smells pretty bad, so I have to take breaks. Oh, okay. Don't worry, miss. We are here to clean it up. You can get to work soon. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My head is about to explode from all the salts I've had to inhale. Of course, I won't hold you back. All but right. Guys, you get the feeling that you need them. You have a dead body to deal with after all. <laughs> can I borrow your gloves? Sure. Keep them. I have another pair. Oh, wow. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> That's super, super kind of you, lady. Uh, the latex gardening gloves and classic canary yellow. Maybe you should retire and take up the gardening hobby. It's worth the thought. Let's put them on. <laughs> Hell yeah. We got gardener's gloves. Dark and stormy. I feel like I've heard of a dark and stormy. That's uh, rum and what? And mutters to himself, accenting the beats as he goes. Keep listening. From another planet. Hey there. What's going on? Jam, my man. He motions toward the sprawl of lorries with a sweeping gesture. What's it's the jam? Traffic jam for the ages. Harbor gates up the street are shut tight. No explanation given. Workers on strike, scabs agitating, and all around clusterfuck. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long haul limbo. For days upon days upon days upon days. Limbo, huh? So that's where I am. Yeah, yeah, exactly. How long have you been here? It feels like forever. Like I was born on this here roundabout and this was all I ever knew. 
Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes of mazout. Extravagant, extravagantly phrased, but I could roll with it. Dark and stormy. Oh, it's a ginger beer. Aren't ginger beers typically non-alcoholic? Yeah, imagine. It's been a whole week already. Behind the laugh, however, a touch of sorrow. So tell me, what do you need? Um... What are you hauling? Oh, high-grade narcotics, illegal firearms, stuff like that. Oh, excellent. Cool, Time cool, to cool. Arrest him. Wicked, I've always wanted a friend in the underworld. Ha, no, I'm joking, my man. Found runs a nice, clean business. This holocargo is mostly sporting goods. You know, tracksuits and that kind of thing. They usually get shipped to Grad in the Occident. Though we've been making headway in the Il Moran market lately. Can I get one of those fawn track suits you're hauling? It's nothing illegal then. Rum and ginger beer. Ah, okay. You're over here just sipping on some old blue plant juice? Blue plant. Not unless they believe Lavender? sports equipment while I was on the road. This rockin' beauty. Sure is. Like a rash you can't get rid of. You interested in heavy-duty cargo machinery? Yeah, those lures are neat. Neat. For carrying large quantities of cargo a long distance. These found tracksuits need to find their way to the kids way out in Wamra and Agave. Around somehow. Wait, you're just drinking straight agave nectar? There it is again. A little touch of sadness beneath his cool. He thinks he spent too long in this lorry. Can I get one of the tracksuits? Towels and all? But I can't just freely hand out the merchandise. The bosses won't be happy. That's fair. The man taps his fingers rhythmically uh, against his arm. Let's see, know anything about can't the dead man? Drivers, I know that. All accounted for. Otherwise, I haven't really asked about that. Been wasting time right here. Oh, Keep tequila. Is tequila made from agave? Oh, I'm thinking vodka. That's made from potatoes. Yeah, tequila is made from agave. I see. Wait, you're just drink drinking straight tequila? Analyzing the fundamental structural and psychological conditions of being stranded in the midst of a sea of motor lorries and their sad, despondent chauffeurs. And a your conclusion? Surprise, there ain't more bodies hanging from more trees. Mm. Tell me more about this strike. It's like, whatever's going on over at the docks, workers got a blockade set up, making demands, no way in or out. What is the union demanding? Some pretty wild stuff, I hear. Like a giant new power crane in half the company? I forget what exactly. Good on them, I guess. I've heard talk there's a company rep in town, too. Like, a strike negotiator type. They'd know what's up. Precise demands and so on. Ah, yes. From the Wild Pines. We'll meet her soon enough, I'm sure. Oh. Okay. What do you think the company wants? They want to keep that money flowing in, my man. Ka-ching! <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, this ain't really my area of expertise. I just do my job and get paid. I have things to do and places to be. All of us do. Us lorry drivers. Cam, your nurse. You still hang around here waiting for this mess to end. Most have scurried off somewhere to get drunk or high. Or laid. Not that I blame them, really. Hmm. You're currently enjoying a... Tres agaves repasado? What is that? Uh, uh, three... Is that a brand? I don't know what repasado means, but uh, I get that it's three agave plants. Is it like a three agave mix? Not my thing. Chasing transient pleasures is a drag these days. I prefer the examined life now. Thinking, reflecting, observing. What's better than chasing transient pleasures? The more transient, the better. When one's ended, you can get onto the next one. Uh, it's a brand, yeah. For the Resposado thing, there are basically three standard types of tequila. Blanco, Resposado, and Anejo. So that's uh, white, and then I don't know what the other two is. It has a gafe, a gaf B, and a gaf C. <laughs> Got any smokes on you? Nope. Don't smoke. He now stores big lorry behind him. Some of the other drivers do, though. 
There's still a few around. You're what literally you smoking right now. What do you mean? I'm waiting for the sweet release of death. Yep. Nothing wrong with that statement. Your senses have nothing to add. You left the ask around elsewhere. <laughs> Perception you failure. Can also check the kiosk down the street. Frit. With three T's. Rebishaw's oh, it is supposed weird. to be three T's. Okay. Uh, care to spare some change for a working stiff? Uh -huh. Oh. No, I ain't got any money. They don't want to pay for unfinished work. They the who? Bosses, man. First work, then pay. I don't know who these bosses think they are, but that sounds like a good arrangement for them. Makes sense. It sucks is what it does. Maybe don't tell people. The people they don't like are actually right. <laughs> what do you see in his eyes? Let's try it. In his eyes, an unfamiliar longing. Flecks of brown and gold. Hmm. Blanca was not aged or barely aged. Resposado was aged for a bit in barrels, and Anejo's aged for much longer. So, like, Blanco is just straight off the plant. Just, like, squeezed out, you sip it, right? And then Resposado is like, hey, I put this juice in a bottle for, like, an hour. Here, now you can have it. And then Ana uh, Anejo's like, yeah, they don't make this anymore. It's a limited supply. It's been aging for, like, a thousand years. Good luck. It's hard to say. His gaze wanders southwest, down the street that goes beyond the horizon. The road continues for miles, flowing together with other roads, turning into causeways or bridges, ending suddenly in dead ends, or ramping up or down highways. It forms a crisscross pattern across the land. Above the Jamrock Quarter, in the form of a raised motorway, and then the never-ending sprawl of Forberg, high above buildings new and old, the air filled with the rumble of motor engines. To the old, old south, to the farthest outskirts of Revachon, through the checkered fields of farmland, upstream to the river Esperance, past Mont Martin, the border approaches. You cannot see. It's out of the city. Up ahead, the mist blocks all sight. A gale blows across your cheeks. It is cold. Before you stands a tall lorry driver hmm. with sad eyes. It's not like a cow where you can just suck the tequila out of the agape teeth. <laughs> oh, I see why you regret that sentence, but that is probably the best thing that I have ever read. Excuse me. What's in the Southwest? I'm a cop. I can fix anything. Really, you can tell me. Hell, I get longing. I felt something similar since I woke up. Man, I don't know what to say. Not much anyone can do. There's no helping in absence, you know. I miss my family. They're all I have. My wife, second kid on the way, waiting all the way in Diora. And here I am stuck in this shit, so far from home. They are? Diora of the Seven Seas. It's on the other end of La Caillou, pretty much. On another island called Laurentide, off mainland. We've got a little place there. Can almost hear my kid laugh when it snows. What's it like to miss someone? What's it like? Good. And bad. An ache that brings you joy. I think of them a lot. I dream up these silly scenarios in great detail of living with them. It comforts me. Hmm. <sighs> what about you, cop man? You missing someone? Is that what it is? This feeling? No. It's scarier than that. You're pursued by a hunter. Smelling of apricots and sorrow and the past. I miss someone, but I don't know who it I is. Feel for you, my friend. It's bad enough to know who you miss. Missing like that doesn't feel like it has much of an upside. But thanks for this. It's nice to talk to someone, and I know it wasn't easy to ask. I hope you find your way through your own troubles. You take good care, man. Don't be a stranger. What a delightful little conversation. That was surprisingly nice. That was quaint. 
I am continuously and thoroughly enjoying what this game seems to have to offer. And there seems to be so much to look at. An old monument stands in the middle of the traffic island, pointing toward the sea. It looks as if it's been reassembled piece by piece, secured and mounted in the air with the aid of numerous ropes and rods. It's been on my list for a very long time, honestly. Shadow has requested and recommended it for a while, but it's never been as requested as like one other game. So I've always played uh, another game before I touched this one. And I didn't know what to expect from this one. I'm glad you're here to experience it too. Hopefully you'll be around tomorrow morning. A silver plaque on the statue's pedestal reads, I am Philip III. The Squanderer, the greatest of the Philippian kings of Rebishol, son of Philip II, the opulent, father of Philip IV, the insane. Not a good track record of mental health in that family. Hmm. What did the king do? What did he do? You have no idea what you did a week ago. How would you know what this guy did many centuries ago? Maybe I'd be lucky. High above you, the king stands triumphantly oblivious to your memory trouble. All right. Uh, no, I have not gotten the body yet. I haven't even walked over there. I've just been talking to literally everyone else. Ooh. I got, a I got 227 reals. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, there's some more rails over here. I'm gonna go pick them up behind this person. Lori's probably stored fuel here. Now they store booze. Ah, more money. Soon I will pay off my $30. What's in the trash? Magnesium. Jump Jams, a popular music mag. A glossy magazine, most able-bodied men. This issue posts a top 10 list. Oh no, they're much hunkier than me. Incredible. Shouldn't feel threatened by handsome men. Don't be silly. Goods from the lorry haphazardly litter the surrounding. Good to know that I can run. I'm guessing this is his car? Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery, bearing the number 57. Which song? Just the, the subtle trumpets the in the background? From the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Uh, pull out the, the toolbox. Drawer slides out from under the seat. And clicks into place. The tools inside are neat. What about the organized. song do you love so much? Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of my tools, like some men are. He's clearly a little protective of his tools. But what can you do? Work is work. Um Take the, the pry bar. bar. Feels nice and cold in your hand. Heavier than you'd think. Cold and heavy like truth you feel like you're reunited with truth once more useful for opening all sorts of doors and lids and the chain the cutters are long and sleek snap snap go the cutters in your hand and the flashlight weatherproof and well made police issue blue lets you see things in the dark you would otherwise miss the pull-out toolbox slides back into its nest. Preheater gauge casts a warm glow on the steering levers. Um, Alright, let's pick up the radio. Tablo lights up and a green button labeled 
crime line glows like a feline eye and then the music is really thing. nice the soft purr of electrical kittens radio waves cast far and wide over the metropolis a woman's voice greets you through the static this is precinct 57 hello lieutenant how may i assist you lieutenant interesting that's not how i would have imagined it pronounced hello alice please assist our colleague from the 41st precinct here i'm putting him on come in delta 10 this is firewalker copy hi Alice. this is the officer from 41st precinct nice to meet you this is officer alice demetri precinct 57 how may i assist you um uh can you connect me to a civilian sylvie she may have reported a murder what is the number officer uh let's get yes. sylvie's number hold on her number is 005-1944-298 Received. Hold on, officer. Start slapping a marching rhythm on your thighs. Wait patiently. Lieutenant Kitsuragi slowly begins to tap a little rhythm with his right foot. Quite a lot of time has passed. Officer, I have Sylvie Malaika on the line for you. Yes, hello? A female girl's voice greets you through the static. It sounds like she's a million miles away from here. Uh, this is the police calling. I have some questions for you about your last days at work. Sylvie, I believe we've met before. This is me, a detective from the Whirling in Rags. Oh, right. Hello, officer. What can I do for you? You can hear resentment in her tone. She's not thrilled to be talking to you again. Mm. There's no resentment in her tone. She wants you to ask her out. <laughs> no about Wait. It. Uh. You quit your job at the Whirling? Why? Why did I leave the bar? Honestly, I'm not really comfortable discussing it with you, sir. Uh, aren't you comfortable? I, uh, let's just say I left because I needed to get away from someone. Because of guard. What? No, why would you even think that? Don't be afraid of that pig. You have to stand up for yourself. <laughs> uh, so you do agree that quitting your job because someone asked you out is an overreaction. into this it's none of your business i already said i don't want to talk about this you're messing everything up again you mean why did i leave the bar honestly i'm i uh get away from who whom. do i you hear a sliver of accusation in her words oh wait is it me don't be paranoid she's obviously talking about someone else not you. Wait, you needed to get away from me? I really don't want to talk about this. Let's just forget about this, okay? Okay. Maybe, I don't know. I just know I have to take some time off right now. What did I do? No, not me. Why didn't you call? Didn't a corpse behind the workplace bother you? What? Of course it bothered me. But I thought the union already knew about the corpse. What does the union have to do with it? No one calls the police. The union would get angry. What do you mean by that? You know, what the union says goes. People listen to them and they take care of their own, which is like everyone here. Garbage. Wait, Kim, lower the microphone. Is she speaking Clearly, the truth? No. In reality, yes. Martinez is de facto policed by the Dock Workers Union. Interesting. Words are not necessary to feel the lieutenant's discontent for the situation. Tell me, why exactly did you let a corpse hang in your backyard for weeks instead of calling us? I... I didn't want to get in trouble with the others. Push her further. Show her the error of her ways. No, don't push her. It sounds as if she's about to cry. I see. Don't worry about it. I understand. You do? Oh. 
Okay. What else can I do for you? You know who made the call? No, sorry. I don't. <clears throat> Not a lot of people have phones around here. Copper thieves take the wires. People don't have the money to have the cables put in again. They use the Union's phone, or the one on the coast. It was someone else. We'll find them sooner or later, officer. Okay. It just might take a while. All right. Yeah, go on. Mm, do you want to get a cup of coffee with me sometime? No, absolutely not. Oh. Ouch. That's like 20 points of pride damage right there, buddy. Fair enough. I do hope so. Please, don't call me again. Bye. Wait, why does she seem angry with you? You asked her out, negative one. Let's try. Yes. Before you go, you're mad at me, right? Tell me what did I do? I can't remember anything. When she was I'm not mad. It's just you were so drunk and so emotional all the time, and then the skewer thing happened. It just made me want to quit. Oh, what skewer thing? The stuffed bird, the great skewer. You threw it against the wall while screaming "fuck <laughs> that bird" and laughing like a maniac. Oh my God. I think you said it had been giving you shit ever since you got there. <laughs> the bird cop was coming for her. Why do I always end up screwing everything up? It was a pretty bird. There since I started working in Merlin. I really liked her. We call her Scotty. There's genuine sadness in her voice. So I was the one who made you want to quit? Yes, obviously. You were the worst client I've ever seen. And I have seen so many asses. Oh no. Place. I've had sailors fighting, union guys grabbing my ass, kids stealing booze. Once a guy was glued to the karaoke machine every night for two months. But you... Yeah, tell me what I did. Well, you were worse than all of them. Honestly, you were getting borderline aggressive. Even about little things like not turning down the volume at 3 a.m. I even liked one of those songs you kept listening to on repeat. No more. I, I hate it now. Which song? We go on by the OO. I can't listen to it anymore. You've turned it into a parody. Sorry. The hell with that song. I'm sorry. Then there was your room, your project, an experiment to see how bad it can get in there. Auto saves happen in this game very infrequently. I should quick save somewhat frequently. Okay. Uh, as soon as I get out of this dialogue, I'll F5. I tried to send the cleaner, but you wouldn't let me threatened to make me understand. I had no idea what you meant, and I don't want to know. And then you screamed something about how you're a piece of shit human being, and why does anyone even let you work as a policeman? That you fire yourself, but you can't even do that. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. And then I had to deal with your toilet, the one you clogged with police documents, causing water damage downstairs in the kitchen. What do you mean by police documents, right? Like these these are totally quotation, right? Were they actually police documents? What in the world did this maniac do to this poor girl? No wonder she wanted to quit. I mean, I can't believe that I'm the worst, but I understand that I was bad. Like this person sounds absolutely crazy. But I, I feel like, I don't know, I've, I've worked in customer service and there have been some really bad people, right? I feel like someone being drunk and throwing a bird and stuff like that isn't so bad. Threatening you, sure. Yeah, I get that. I get that. That's, that's pretty bad. This is just... <laughs> What have I gotten myself into? That is that is the real question right now. What have I gotten myself into? I don't even know. I don't know. All right, let's wait. Wait for these ads to end in a second. There we go. I won't even mention you waving your gun around, harassing customers, threatening to sing karaoke, threatening to kill yourself. 
Wow. Okay. Never mind. I take it all back. She is fully vindicated. Police documents? I, oh, the ones I had to rent out of your toilet. What happened to them? I, damn it. I don't remember what I did to your damn papers. I don't remember every little thing I do. She's worried she might have accidentally done something bad. Then she remembers it's you. Especially when there's a hurricane loose, it's your fault for losing them. Not mine. Something in you wants to immediately forget about this, as if there was a reason you threw them away. Hmm. No, you really weren't. You were simply the worst. Trying to show you the world of tomorrow, the great panic at the end. You're the worst ever which I've ever seen. Girl, just loosen it up a little. Don't you ever party? I don't even know what to say. I, I'm truly sorry for everything. God, I, I know I shouldn't have brought it up. Just try not to call me again and let's pretend it never happened. What else did I sing besides the oh, oh I'm looking for a song. When I spoke to Garrett, it seemed like he thought you left because of Wait, him. Really? No, this is absolutely or Gart. not true. I like Gart. I really do. Didn't he cross the line when he asked you no. out? I was actually flattered. I've always liked him. Aw, please tell me I can set them up. With the corpse and all that. There's a pause. You can almost see her on the other side. The telephone cord coiled around. Oh, something good's got to come from this. I didn't know what to say to him later. Then you came and destroyed the place. So I left without explaining. I should have told him, maybe. I could tell him. Okay, but please don't mess it up. Please don't take out your gun or something. I won't. I I will set you up. I will make this right. All, all sorts of things. Some disco, rock too. So much disco and rock. Maybe you can help me identify this one particular what song. Would that be? One that was really sad. Sad? I think the one you mean is the smallest church in San Sound. Richard, that right up. Her voice carries a tone of disappro uh, disappointment. Interesting. You still have to find it, however. Okay, thank you for talking with me. You hear a sigh of relief on the other end of the radio. Wordless, the call breaks. Then, the already familiar voice. Welcome back, Dimwit. Anything else I can help you with, officer? Uh, I need to talk to my... Just a second, precinct. Officer. She puts you on hold, the static crackling softly like a bonfire. After a while, you hear an old man greet you from the radio. His rattly voice is oddly familiar. Ten two, ten five. This is 41st, uh, coming over. Uh, I did my best to try and reconcile with Sylvie, and then I will go and tell Gart that uh, she wants to go on a date with him. A scrawny old man sits in a dusty cubicle, smoking, with a large white rectangle sewn on his vest. In front of him is a box-shaped apparatus with an array of wires and antennas. The radio switchboard. <sighs> this is me here, I work at your station. What's your status? Over. It's not good. 1018, 1020, over. Please just talk human to me. These numbers mean nothing to me. State your message, sir. Over. Uh, I'm in dire need of financial aid. This might sound odd, but there's personal details I'd like to discuss. Need to report my badge missing. Nine, repeat message, over. My badge, I can't find it anywhere. Basically, it's gone. Received. This is a very serious situation. I need to 1022 the captain, over. 1022 the captain? This sounds bad. Bad and scary. What is Half-Light? Being called to the headmaster's office in school. Okay. Let the body take over threatening hey, people. What does he want? Says he lost his badge and needs to report it. He what? He lost his badge? Say nothing. Who lost his badge? Oh no. Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? Oh, my name's... Oh. It's Officer Dick Mullen from the bestseller Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. I was like, hey, that's my name. No, that's Mullen not my name. Is not your name. It's the name <sighs> of a fictional detective who would not lose his badge. Defend yourself immediately. They're laughing at you. Can we just move on? I don't want to get it reported and be done with it. 10 4, 
Why are you officer? I'm just going to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Over. Fuck me! Mac, come here! You've got to hear this! Dick Mullen lost his badge! What's going on? Supercop here lost his badge. He lost his what now? His badge. He lost his goddamn fucking badge. I've got other things to discuss. Goodness gracious. The anime conversation in the back is making it difficult for him to hear you. Heights even for Captain Sober. Ask him. Ask him if he's lost his gun too. And the room roars with laughter. Check your pockets. Check your... Holy fuck. You don't know where it is, do you? I don't have my gun. Oh no. Oh god, it's not here. It's gone. Your gun is most definitely gone. Captain 9, come in, officer. Did you get my question? We were wondering about your gun. Over. Convince them you didn't lose your gun. Even before nope. you can get the words out, everything gets scrambled in your brain. No, of course I didn't lose my fun. He says he didn't lose his gun. Or his fun, whatever that means. Ask him to describe it. His gun. Not his fun. Just the gun will do. <laughs> Satellite officer McLean requests a description of your weapon. Over. The fuck do you need a gun for? Look at the pythons on your arms. You are a gun. <laughs> the biggest one in the world. This game is very oh, fun. Very clever. Description, huh? We'll give him one. Describe the plasma gun. It's massive. Got flared cooling vents along the front and hydrogen flasks sticking out too. Whispered to, to the lieutenant, what are you packing? It's a gun. What can I say? A regular murder weapon? You know how they are. Bang, bang. Trick question. I'm a martial artist. My entire body is one big gun. Uh... I don't have it. He says he doesn't have it. Dear God, he lost his gun. Oh, oh my, I can't. <laughs> You're so glad you didn't spoil this bit by asking if you asked about it yet? This isn't really a laughing matter. Mac can face a giant of Coco Nur by himself, but this go in and him piss his pants. <laughs> oh, I, I can't. Fuck. He lost his ass because he still got his wiener. I'm not going to ask him. Uh, Sergeant Dorson here is wondering if you are still in possession of your genitalia. Uh, based on what I saw earlier, I'm a eunuch. Now is a good time to say fuck and ass and so on. That'll make this all right. I left it at his mama's <laughs> That's a negative, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> What's he saying? <laughs> he, uh, he said he sodomized your mother. <laughs> the prick ate mama's vanilla waffles at the captain's birthday party. So nerve he's got. Oh. <laughs> sure, vanilla waffles were the only thing he ate? <laughs> Shut up, Chester, this isn't funny. This is my mom. We're oh. Tell him to apologize right now. <clears throat> Sergeant Thorson requests that you apologize for the claims that you made about his mother. Over. <laughs> if you don't like the fallout, don't Max, mess with me. He says that you shouldn't have antagonized the Firewalker in the first place. Who? The disbelief in uh, Vic Lemaire's voice is overwhelming. I'm afraid he might be referring to himself as Firewater, sir. Firewater is loaded. Fuck you, tell him to find his goddamn badge again. That's the only thing that matters. Satellite officer, Victor. Effort affirmative. Officer in pursuit of his firearm. Oh, God, I... <laughs> uh, uh, what are these personal details? Okay, then four, sir. I hear you. Relay your question. Over. Wait. Before you say anything stupid, 
think it through. What's there to think You're about? Going to be looking at a straight jacket if you tell everyone. Oh my god. Memory. Be smart about Ask this. if he's there's a lot. Ask there's three people there around him. Ten four, so I'm not hearing your question. I need some confidential information about myself. I want to know if you got my badge description right in your report. Could you read it to me? Name, rank, date of birth. Please refer to me with my full name in the future. Any news about my family? Uh, yeah, let's do name, rank, and date of what? birth. What is it? He's still on the line? He wants to verify the information on his badge. But of course, it says Dick Mullen, High General of the Revachonian Cavalry Force. Tell him to stop wasting time. What do you need, sir? Over. That's a negative, sir. I got a 10 12 here. Over. Uh. We'll wrap this up. Over. Roger that. Over and out. 18 kilometers to the south, in the 41st Precinct's relay booth, a small crowd has gathered around communication officer Jules Old Boy Pidier. Around a dozen cops, the small room is filled with cigarette smoke, a buzz with laughter when Officer Judith Minow enters. Her left arm is in bandages and her hair trimmed short. What is going on here? Did something happen? She asks, startled. Jean Vicwimer turns to her and what says, What happened is my partner made contact. It's not good. He's lost his badge and his sidearm. He seemed confused, delirious even. I'm the top dog's partner? Nick, the torso Torson is finger fucking his fist, laughing hoarsely and apparently telling some dirty story to his partner, Chester McLean. Near yeah, Mullen was fucked, all right. Sounded fucking drunk to me. Yeah, Max right. That was some gnarly shit there. Enough. None of this is funny. It's fucking sad. That's what it is. He's a cop. He's one of us, goddamn this. We must help him. Mino looks down at her neatly polished black shoes. There's a quiet firmness to her voice when she yeah? speaks. How do you fucking plan to do that, huh? Get him off the drink? Go jogging with him in the morning and get him on car juice? He's a lost man. I just know we can't give up on him when he's at his weakest. He wouldn't. The crowd in the room has started fidgeting uncomfortably. Someone's trying to slip out unnoticed. Max, man the door. You he know just what he told me? I don't want to get better. I want to get worse. Those were his words. He gestured to Torsen to block the doorway and turns to Minot. And then he sighs heavily and turns to address the room. Welcome back, Salad. This shit does not leave this room. Not a word of this to the captain or anyone else. We'll give him we'll a couple, of days, a couple of days to okay. put this shit together. Salad, you're always I fancy. I can hold up the report for a few days. Good. Okay, everybody. Nothing but a prank call here. We all got our laughs. Now get back to work. Far north, on the other side of the motorway, the officer quietly hunches with his hand in the motor carriage. Interesting. Who am I? The touch and the metal clutch handle so very familiar in your palm. As you tap on the gauge, the indicator pin jerks as if startled. It's in the large orange sector, indicating the engine is warm. Next to the gauge is a red switch labeled heat. There's no use pressing the heat button. It won't start without the ignition key. Alternative translation. Don't even think you could drive my MC. Hmm. What are we looking at? What is this machine? This is the Cupris Kinema, my motor carriage. You can use the toolbox and the radio if you'd like. Motor carriage, motor carriage. Something bad with the motor carriage. What is the sinking a lump rises in your throat? Feeling I have with the words motor carriage. Can we turn it on and drive somewhere? Do all policemen in the RCM have such cool motor carriages? Nothing, nothing. It's probably nothing. Forget I brought it up. Please proceed with the carefree lollygagging. The Cupris motorcar does provide most of our patrol vehicles, yes. Hmm. No, I'm afraid not. We have a murder case on our hands, remember? What is a motor motorized vehicle, officer. 
I'm sure you are familiar with the concept. We've had these for nearly a century. Look around the cabin. In the cabin, you see a set of steering levers. This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Please connect me to Station 41's Lazarus. It will take just a moment, officer. Her voices fade out into the familiar radio static. Gottlieb, what do you want? He's carelessly chewing on a piece of hard candy. I'm in a bad way, Doc. Real bad way. Just a routine checkup. Oh, it's you. Was that a snarl or a suppressed groan? No love for you here. Couldn't reach up and grab a tie from a spinning fan without unbearable pain shooting through my arm. I think I've developed extreme photosensitivity. I think I've had a heart attack. I've lost my memory. All of it. Uh, it's Firewalker, Firewalker. here. Oh, yes, yes you are. Just don't breathe in the general direction of your fire feet. Uh, actually, wait. Do exactly that. Put yourself out of your misery. Take a deep diaphragmatic breath in and this dude just told me to kill myself a glorious sight your body tired from the vastness of the visions that haunt it burning up in a flame fed by your own living breath get used to it apparently you see it too that my body is to become the last torch in the darkness I see third degree burns and a referral to a plastic surgeon whom you won't be able to afford, but that's in the future. Do you have any current pressing medical problems? Uh, I couldn't reach up and grab a tie from a spinning fan without unbearable pain shooting through Hard my arm. I tell exactly what it was over the phone. Could be a combination of uh, peripheral neuralgia and high blood pressure. Could be that you were having a heart attack. Or actually, it could be both, given your profile. Do <laughs> we both? That sounds yeah. bad. <laughs> No wonder I'm in so much pain. I feel like I've been damaged. Yes, probably in more ways than one. You're detecting very little in the way of empathy from Dr. Gottlieb. Okay, so everyone hates me. Cut down Fair on enough, normal. Pal. In fact, cut off the drinking. The drugs too. Anything else? Oh, but speed. Sweet speed. It goes so well with alcohol too. Uh, I think I've developed extreme photosensitivity. I think I've had a heart attack. Let's just go down the line. Because you're hung over. Even the radio waves coming from your direction smell like liquor. Do you <laughs> feel like your eyes are twitching too? Yes. That's the tiny vessels pulsating from high blood pressure, stupid officer. You might be sustaining permanent damage to your vision as we speak. Not much I can do about it. I'm not an eye doctor. What kind of doctor are you? The busy kind. It's not life threatening, just annoying for you. I've got more important things to do here. Okay, I think I've had a heart you attack. Survived it. Congratulations. Are you mobile? Sort of, but by God, does it burn in your chest? Even better. Anything else? I wouldn't worry about that. Officers your age have currently trouble all the time. Also, death <laughs> is a natural part of life. Thanks, Gottlieb. Accept it. The body is an object, and objects break down. Do what good you can with yours before the rest goes too. All right, I've lost all my memory. With all the damage you've been dealing yourself with drugs and alcohol, I'm not surprised. There is no surprise in his voice, only careless superiority. All right, anything else? I'm not a brain doctor. Look on the bright side. You've got a whole new life now. Use it wisely. Is there anything you can do for me? You want me to do blood work for you again? Tell you just how bad things really are across the board? You want another rundown of everything collapsing inside your body? Yeah, give you me the truth. The real, honest to God truth. Stop drinking, eat magnesium and vitamin D. Our station is not our retirement home. We don't have the funds to deal with rock stars past their prime. So it's political. You're being neglected because of political reasons. Oh, I was about to say, that doesn't sound right. The money is probably going to some old, oily... And no, I don't want to hear a political commentary on the topic. In fact, I got work to do. Some idiot has glued his eyelids shut 
with cyanoacrylate. It looks like mectosin. <laughs> Dude glued his eyes shut and he's giving me crap for losing it's my badge. Not fucking cryo latte. <laughs> it's super glue, Doc. Alright. The phone clicks suddenly you hear the already familiar Are voice. Alright, I'm done for now. In the cabin, you see a sick. Okay, incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay, how do... Uh... Okay, so I can level stuff up. How do I see... How many points I have available? Is it just like that right there? I have one skill point available. Cyanoacrylate esters are color colorless monomeric liquids sold commercially as rapid high strength glues, for example, super glue. Okay. All right, so that's how that works. Uh, I have some tools. Great. Uh, I, I have a lot of stuff going on there. All right. Thought cabinet. Okay. Lonesome long way. Let's rewind. Let's trace your drunken steps back home. Jump across the raised channel bridge southwest of here. Fall over. Get up. Get off the asphalt in 20 minutes. Shuffle your feet through courtyards. Scaring little children. Go into the great raised motor tract in the 881 until you reach Le Domaine Eminent and North Jim Rock. Uh, the streets are frozen this time of year, cracked with ice. Walk down Main to Perdition. There's a side alley there and your footprints in the mud. You ever need an explanation for anything? I got you. Thank you. I think Dimwit and Ed both have offered. I internalize something? What does internalizing it mean? Oh, is that like slowly working on it over time? So in six hours and five minutes, I'll get a plus one to encyclopedia. Factual memory returns. Hey, Kane, how are you doing, buddy? Interesting. Hobo cop. Why can't I read any of these others? Researching ability. So at the top it says research time. You'll internalize the thought of your character or and your character will find the solution to the problem that's listed there. Doing great. You came uh, from finishing a session of Baldur's Gate with Matt. Oh, that's awesome. How was it? Okay, so this is like you start with this one and then eventually I'll be able to go further down the line. Evil and fun. Or do I have to spend a skill point to unlock more? You keep accidentally getting your merchants killed? Stop putting them in the front lines. <gasps> oh, okay. I'll find more stuff to internalize as I go. So we've been monitoring you internally. And now we know your copper type. What are copper yes. types? Guess what's yours? Uh, sorry, cop. I'm sorry. I'm not sure. Cool, cop. No, you're the sorry cop. The cop who's sorriest. Let's make it official then, shall we? Okay. You unlock more slots so you can do Huge more at once. Lack gotcha. Of enthusiasm going on in here. Uh, won't the other copper types be jealous? What are the other copper oh, types? You know, Apocalypse, Superstellar, the Advanced Interesting Cop, Liquid Shadow Cop. But you're too sorry to say those. Canadian things. Cop. So, here we go. <coughs> Won't the others what? be jealous? Jealous of the sorry cop? I think they'll be fine. Don't worry. They'll be super, super fine. 
It'll be totally okay. You can dual copo type from sorry to anything. I'm not sorry. I changed my mind. Come on. You'll be back to saying sorry in two minutes. Stop wasting time and begin the repentance. You know what? All right, I'm sorry. Of course you are. It's okay. See if you can get something out of this, like info, or maybe every time you say you're sorry, you get a million bucks. I'd love it if that were true. That would be great. Negative one of 30, embarrassment to the party. You're one sorry piece of crap. A cop penitent, a flagellant cop muck. This is not the right line of work for you. You should be groveling at the feet of a feudal lord, providing lurid evidence against yourself at Mazovian show trial. Or ripping the flesh from your back with a cat of nine tails. You made... Whatever made you this way, you can be darn sure it wasn't your own fault. Do it. Really criticize yourself. Who knows? You might uncover something of importance from your guilt-ridden past. Let's quick save. There's so much to click on and look at. Some great tectonic forces crack the pavement like an eggshell. The worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not look overly comforting. Hmm. We can sit on benches after we've solved the murder. Let's go. Just in this one session, we told we sold stuff only to immediately turn against the faction and kill you everyone. Visit the bench if you ever need to pass the time when Lieutenant Kitsuragi is gone. Gotcha. So what I'm hearing is this you sold it, got their money, and then got your stuff back? ...has been heavily vandalized with graffito. A closer inspection reveals two bullet holes in the front. Good mail delivery box. At, at. And it happened three it times? Eat shit, pig. Fucked by the coon. And sent G with a crown have been scribbled on it. Jenny is a whore and best set mailbox also. <laughs> Been there, mailbox. Box Been there. Cathartic. Thankful even. So do you. You shudder. Then you swallow. Just manage to make people mad. And I feel like that's just how the game goes sometimes. Over all the other graffitos. Have a good Someone night, Ingle. Take care of yourself, buddy. The tip of a very sharp knife. Cut the words. River shawl forever. Did you call me? Uh, I'll probably stop shortly. Why? Okay. I almost go bad. So I'm imagining this is the way to go. So, Ingle has the right frame of mind. Uh, I think we will pick up tomorrow by going and cutting down the body, yeah? You're playing as the Dark Urge, which means you have these urges that are dark. Oh, so you legitimately are doing an evil campaign. Like murder. Boo. I, I mean, it, it'll be... But also, yes, you need sleep. Well, if you're around at 11 a.m. tomorrow, your time dimwit. Oh, wait, no, it'll be... Well, your time? Because you're two hours ahead of me? 10 a.m. Central. I think it's like negative six GMT? Negative, negative seven? I don't remember. Excuse me. Yeah, you're weird. Negative four? You're not negative four, GMT. Not weirder? Neg I don't even know what you're saying right now. You need to resub. You don't like how long the ads go for? I know. Ugh. Basically, I have a choice of running them once an hour and making sure no one gets pre-roll ads or letting... Uh, Twitch, do whatever the heck it wants, and I hate that. Thank you, Dimwit, for gifting Kane a sub. Thank you for bringing 15 people, or uh, sponsoring 15 different adventures, I guess I should say. Uh, it's very sweet of you. I appreciate your support so very much, especially after being gone for so long. I hope you all are enjoying Disco Elysium and my first playthrough of it. 
I miss getting to do, uh, I really miss getting to do story games like this. So I'm, I'm very excited to get to try this and do it more. Uh, and hopefully, like I said, it's something that you all enjoy. Um, I definitely would like to keep doing more like this and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Is Julia still streaming? Julia's still streaming. We're going to raid out uh, to my dear friend, a lovely lady, Forever Julia, because she is a big old sweetheart. So if y'all would be so kind, uh, apparently... Apparently, my commands aren't working and I have to look at reconnecting everything. So we're... Uh... Just, just use those. You're doing the very dark, even eviler than evil run run? Oh, super evil run. I didn't realize there was more evil than evil. That's interesting. I hope you're able to keep up as well, Dimwit. It's going to be every, uh, every Saturday for sure, every Saturday morning, and hopefully every Friday evening, um, or most Friday evenings. Maybe not every Friday evening, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll figure that out as we go along. But... Uh, I will be here tomorrow. So, uh, if y'all would be so kind as to copy that raid message and come along with me, we are going to raid out to Julia. She's doing some words with friends and spin, spinning yarn and stuff like that. Just having a good old time. Just having a good old time. She's an absolute sweetheart, and it would mean the world to me if y'all uh, went and showed her a little bit of support. But I appreciate you all for supporting me as it is. I'm excited to continue playing Disco Elysium. It's not at all what I expected it to be, so I can't wait to experience more of it. Um, I've missed you all very much. I can't wait to hear more about everything that's going on with y'all. So take good care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to each other. Stay hydrated. And I'll see you tomorrow on our next adventure. I've missed you, Kane. I'll talk to you soon, buddy.